This video outlines in short the main features of the notifications tab, found in any clinical trial. It includes the various types of notifications, how to create a notification, and the various action buttons, found in each notification. Besides the notifications related to the trial and recruitment periods that were presented in the first clip of this module, there are other types of notifications that sponsors might be submitting during the period in which a clinical trial is conducted. Sponsors can submit notifications for unexpected events, serious breaches, urgent safety measures and third country inspectorate inspections in dedicated spaces for each type. With the plus new button, you can create a new notification. Click on the button, and in the pop-up form, fill in the necessary fields. Once you finish with the details of the notification, scroll down and you will see four button in the end of the form. You can click on the close button to discard the notification, or the save button to save it as a draft, or the submit button to submit your notification. The cancel button is inactive and cannot be used to this stage. Click on the save button. A message on the upper right corner informs you that the draft had been saved, while the notification is listed in the dedicated area for unexpected events. In the table of the sections for unexpected events and serious breaches, five notifications have been listed while basic details such as the submission date and the status are visible. Three of them have been saved as drafts and the other two have been already submitted. On the right side of the tables, in the Actions column, you can see various buttons for each notification. Click on the eye icon to view the details of the notification. In the notification for unexpected event 1 in draft status, click on the pencil icon to edit the details of the notification. You can edit the fields or attach additional documents if needed. In the end of the form you can click on the cancel button to discard the notification. Click on the cancel draft button. A message on the right upper corner informs you that the draft was cancelled. The notification has been removed from the table. Click on the pencil icon of the unexpected event 2 in draft status. In the end of the form, you can click on the save button to save it again as a draft. Or you can click on the submit button to submit the notification. Click on the submit button and confirm the submission of the notification. The status of the notification changes to submitted. In the submitted notification, click on the pencil icon to update the details of the notification. Edit the necessary fields and insert the justification for the update. Click on the update button in the end of the form and confirm the update. With the update of the notification, an additional button appears that enables you to view the previous versions. Click on the small arrow next to the versions button to access the previous version. With the withdraw button, you can withdraw a notification that has been submitted. Click on the withdraw button. Insert the justification, click on the confirm withdraw button. The status changes to withdrawn and only the view button appears on the action column. A submitted notification is not deleted if you withdraw it. The status changes, but it is still visible. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the notifications tab, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.